And we'll go to Lourdes Montonia. What's your testimony about, sister? Hi, Pastor. Yes, um, so you prayed for me on the phone on the October 19, um, because I was having dizziness since August 23rd. Um, oh, right, this is the vertigo. <laughs> it is a, this is Lulu, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yes, store. Lulu. So, Sister Lulu, uh, where are you located? In Manteca, is it? Arson, California. Okay. So, uh, so last week I contacted you about organising an event in California. Is that right? Yes, yes, Pastor. And... Uh, so start from the beginning. What was your problem? So um, on, October, on August 23rd, when I woke up, I felt dizzy. And 15 minutes later, 15 to 20 minutes later, I fainted. So my husband, my son, called the emergency and I was brought to the hospital. Since then, I've been feeling dizzy and I lost my balance. And I've always been having lightheadedness. So did this like, affect your work? Uh, oh, yes, yes, Pastor. So I stopped working since then, and I stopped driving as well. And my, my husband would drive me to my doctor's appointments all the time. So how did this affect you? So I was not able to work during, since, since August 3rd. And um, so this you know, would have affected you financially. Uh, yes and no. I have my ins my insurance, so okay. that, thank God. I lost my my pay from my work, but then I have my insurance. So what would so happen if you know you you just got up off the chair and suddenly started walking? Uh, what would happen to you? I would feel dizzy, Pastor. Like I would feel imbalanced, so I would just hold on to things to walk around. So you're in danger of falling over. That's correct. So if you suddenly jumped up and and suddenly started running, what would happen to you? So what really caused the dizziness is more when I walk around too much, I move from left to right, and then I start to feel dizzy. So you couldn't but work, you couldn't drive. I, no, it's not safe. The doctor told me not to drive. So I call you up about organising the event in uh, yeah. in uh, LA area. So That's so, and at the end of the of our conversation, did you tell me about your problem? Yes, Pastor. So I, I said, Pastor, can you please pray for me? Yeah, but uh, the, but I don't remember you telling me what your problem was. Right, because when I was telling you, and you said. Okay, God knows everything. And then you immediately prayed for me. And then you said, it is done. It's done. So, my, so my memory of the conversation was when we came to an end, I felt that I should pray for you. But uh, I wasn't aware that you suffered from vertigo, from dizziness. And so I just prayed for you and yeah. finished the conversation. And what did the Lord do with the general type of prayer? Um, what so happened to you? you? Pastor, so I I believed. I believed when you prayed for me that, you know, I've been healed. Um, I've been watching your videos for, for over a month now because Gloria, my friend, Gloria Fernandez, who belongs to your church, um, she shared the videos to me. And, you know, I, I believe that you are a vessel of God and I believe in the works of God. Uh, Blood of Jesus can heal me. So, how so, are you now? I am well now, Pastor. So, the next day, I said, I know I have faith, I am well. So, I just walk. I did a lot of things. I, I did a lot of walking in my backyard. I cleaned, I cooked. And since then, I, I'm well. Amen. So, show us how you can walk around, uh, bend over, do all those sort of things. That's right. We can see you well. Look at that. There's no way someone with vertigo could do that. Keep going, sister. Good exercise. <laughs> there you go. Someone give Jesus a clap. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Who healed you? Jesus. Jesus. Now, I want to uh, 
Lulu, I want to tell everyone that um, uh, by God's grace, we as a team are coming to the States, all right? Yeah. So uh, uh, I think it's January what, 28th and 29th in L.A., is it? That's what you said, Pastor. 28th and 29th in L.A. And then we're going to go to Porterville, by God's grace, Porterville, California with Juan and Patty. And then we're going up to Spokane, Washington, uh, where we're expecting big meetings up there. <clears throat> and then also um, uh, possibly, <clears throat> where was the next place? Anyway, uh, it's all on the schedule. So uh, all on the website, it'll be coming up soon. So get ready. We are going to have a great Holy Spirit time. And uh, Sarah is coming, my grandson Isaiah, Michael, and uh, I think Pastor Jasnet's coming So uh, and other team members. If you want to come and join us, if you're part of a team, then come and be a prayer helper, volunteer. Um, if you, you want to just come and be blessed, we're looking forward to you. Amen. So uh, you went back to the doctor and what happened? What did the doctor say? Uh, about my vertigo, Pastor? Yeah. Um, well, the doctor didn't really give me any treatment, Pastor. So all they did was give me a uh, medication for temporary relief. So, so that's what I've been thinking. So the doctor told you that you can go back to work? Yes. He said, yes, you start driving and go back to work. So one week later, you're driving now, are you? Since the day after, the day that um, I felt okay, I started to drive, and I'm going back to work on Monday. I already called my supervisor. You know, that's the amazing thing about the anointing. I didn't even know she had a problem, but God knows. And the anointing, listen to this, the anointing will find you. The anointing will locate your faith. And that's the grace of God. The grace of God on you right now. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, that's the grace of God in the meeting right now. And those watching on YouTube later, that's the grace of God. Healing, delivering, blessing, prospering. Hallelujah. And great grace was on them all. Amen.